Meet three remarkable women. All married to mountaineers, they decided that anything their husbands could do, they could do better. So Anne Davis, leader of the Women's Overland Himalayan Expedition, Antonia Decock in charge of foreign relations and the expedition's equipment, and Evelyn Sims, who was responsible both for navigation and for rations, went by Land Rover to the Himalayas and back. They entered the state of Zaska by special permission of the Indian Premier, so becoming the first European women to venture into this forbidden land. Great altitudes make tremendous demands on the body's reserves of strength and stamina, and every step is a major effort. These are the fantastically difficult conditions which face all Mount Everest attempts, and which were overcome by Sir John Hunt and his triumphant team. Yes, mountaineering is hard slogging, but anyone who says it's no job for a woman is given the lie by these young wives who twice crossed the Himalayas, the greatest mountain range in the world. Like every British Mount Everest expedition since 1933, the women's overland Himalayan expedition was supplied with Ovaltine. Ovaltine was their standby on training climbs as well as on the expedition itself. Thus they ensured the fitness which together with their climbing skill and experience made their expedition a success. Those of us who drink Ovaltine in the comfort and safety of our homes can share their confidence in the world's best nightcap and can join the makers of Ovaltine in congratulating three gallant and determined young women. Wherever Ovaltine is used, be it in the Himalayas or at home,